Well, hi everyone. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you more about using Photoshop Elements and some of the different things that you can do with that program. This particular tutorial, we're going to focus in on an area called Adjustment Layers. Uh, adjustment Layers will let you do many things. What I'm going to show you how to do today is how to select one object in the picture and um, turn it a different color from the rest of the objects in the picture. For example, we might want to take an object and turn it that uh, we want to just change the color of. For our little example today, I'm going to be sharing with you, uh, we're going to be using a photo that I've taken of my family. Fall photo, but as you can see, the, the fall leaves uh, are not really the color that you'd expect. I would have expected them to be We're going to use something called an adjustment layer to change the background of the picture. So it won't impact the family, but will impact the Let's go ahead and show you how to do this. The first thing that you need to do in your tool is on your picture or your image, and then go up and drag it to box with the corner turned up. Now, before we go through and actually create the adjustment layer, the first thing that I want to do is select as much of the image as I can. I'm going to come over and grab my magic wand. It's called, it's not actually not called the magic wand. This one's called the quick selection tool. It's a new feature in Shop Elements um, 6. Canvas and watch what happens as I click on my canvas. I start selecting parts of the picture. But if I just click and drag, look how fast I can select a good portion of this picture. Now, one thing you need to be aware of is you don't need to be exact. You might mess up a little bit here and there on this picture. But too much certain parts of the picture. Looks like I got my whole sun. Now, if you accidentally get way too much, you can simply hold down the Alt key. You can select an object, like here I'm selecting my son. Cut him off, and you can see I might grab my wife's hair. Why it is much work to do in a moment. Pull that out just a little bit there. That was done using the Alt key while I still have the quick selection. You can see I've got a rough <clears throat> idea of what I want now. All of this background is more or less selected. Now, the, the adjustment layer tool is located over in the layers panel. You'll find it just above your copy of your image. A little ball that has, that's kind of divided in two. And you can see as I roll my mouse over, select that. And you have tons of choices here of different adjustment layers that you can because we're looking to change colors in the background of this image, we're going to go As we do that, you can see the little it's asking me about the colors and the and basically the how bright the colors are and what the colors look like. So as I come across on hue, watch what I can do. Give them more of a fall look. If I want it to appear like it's at the beginning of fall, I can increase the or towards the end of the fall, you can see crossed. That's a little bit too much. Where I want those leaves to be. What a neat tool, but we still have some problems, right? You can see that some of the area around some of our heads hasn't made that adjustment yet. So I'm going to say OK to this, and as you as you can kind of see, I still need to touch up a few of these areas. Now, let's look over in the Layers panel for just a second. You're going to see that that adjustment layer is now showing up over here. Parts to it. One is a little, uh, I'm going to say an icon that looks kind of like a television screen. If I double click on that, it'll just bring back open the Hue and Saturation box. Now, I mentioned earlier, if you wanted to get rid of all the color, you would just move the hue slider all the way to the left and the saturation slider all the way to the left. You would end up with a black and white background. So that's how you could take out all the color. I'm not going to do that right now. 
but I can just leave that alone. Now, at any point, like I say, I can adjust this even more. Let's say I want to. Again, any time you can go back into the hue and saturation. Saturation layer. Now, let's look at the other icon that's in the hue and saturation layer. Kind of see a rough outline of my family here. We're all in black, and then the background of the picture is all in white. The trick now to touch up our picture is using a brush. So you're going to go and grab a paintbrush. And the paintbrush is just found over in the tools on the left hand side of your screen. You can actually pick up the brush just by pushing the letter B. See that I've got my brush out here. I might make my brush just a little bit bigger. Tiny brush that I'm going to be using here. Okay. Now, as I get ready to paint with this brush, if I want to apply the hue and saturation colors to the picture, I'll be painting in white. And the reason I'm there, excuse me, that is, you can see that it's in white. So if I paint in white, basically be applying that filter to the. I'm going to zoom in using the magnifying glass just a little bit. So I let's go in on my the area surrounding my. Grab our white brush again. Okay. I'm knowing I've been doing this. If you didn't see. Now, let's say I make a mistake. Oh, look, I accidentally color over the wrong. Like I mentioned, we're going to be painting in different colors here. So if I want to remove the filter, I'm going to come over and switch my brush to be paint. That here, I'm using the black. It immediately takes out that. see is we just kind of move this around a little bit. We can touch this up pretty quickly. And this is such an easy way to adjust for your if I make this pretty quick, I won't I won't elaborate on this much. You can see take out those leaves that are yellow right now and I can turn them into bright color fall leaves. And maybe just down. Careful as you get really close to the people because you don't want to paint them. Notice here that my wife's hair is the wrong color, so we'll just switch that to a black brush again. Have kind of the punk rocker look. But as we go through and do that, Within just a few minutes here, see if I zoom back out on this picture, that those leaves have completely changed color. I'm a huge fan of the hue and saturation layer using the adjustment layer option in your layers panel. You can do this multiple times on an image if you want, um, but give it a try. See if you can uh, go through and create your own adjustments on your own images so that you can have some fun playing around. I hope this tutorial has been helpful for you. And I look forward to seeing you at the next tutorial.